My name is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to cover the most important compartment in eukaryote cells, the nucleus. So we're going to focus on the structure and function of the nucleus, which is the, the trademark or the classic organelle found in eukaryote cells that makes them different and more complex than prokaryote cells. There are three things to remember about the nucleus. Probably the most familiar is that it's where the genetic material of the cell is stored. So if you think of the nucleus as a bag, it's where the DNA for eukaryote cells, or most of the DNA, is stored. And you're probably familiar with this DNA as chromosomes. And you may have heard the word chromatin. We'll talk more about what the difference is between these two words in just a second. The second thing that the nucleus is known for is it's where ribosomes are manufactured. It's where um, these little structures that look something like this, they each have two parts, a large subunit and a small subunit, but ribosomes uh, are born, so to speak, or made inside the nucleus, and a part of the nucleus is called the nucleolus, which we'll talk about in just a second. And finally, the nucleus is very, very tightly surrounded and very intimately connected to the endoplasmic reticulum. And we'll look at that a little bit later also. Here's a nice diagram of a nucleus. And as you can see, we have a nucleolus, which stains darker. It's surrounded by the nuclear plasm or the, um, the nuclear matrix here, which has filaments and things inside it. And then surrounding all of this is a double membrane called the nuclear envelope. And then surrounding all of this is this much convoluted and folded structure called the ER. And the ER often has ribosomes attached to it, attached to it making it appear rough. Uh, the nuclear envelope itself is penetrated by pores. Let's look at the nuclear envelope in a little bit more detail. Uh, first of all, it's a double layer, which means it's got two membranes surrounding it, and they're penetrated by pores. And the, the job of the nuclear envelope is to give structure and support and shape to the, um, the nuclear matrix, which is inside here. The nuclear matrix is where the cell's genetic material is stored. Uh, the genetic material exists in a form called chromatin when the cell is not dividing, which means the DNA is spread out, or in a way you can think of it as kind of being dissolved. Uh, it's actually spread out in a form you remember the double helix structure here, where it can actually be read and accessed by the cell's machinery for either replication or transcription. Uh, inside the nucleus, or the nuclear matrix, is a darker area called the nucleolus, which is where the ribosomes are being manufactured. And remember, ribosomes are built in subunits, which then leave the nucleus one by one through the pores. Ribosomes come in two kinds. They can be either free or bound. Uh, they alternate between these two forms. The free ribosomes are floating in the cytoplasm, and generally free ribosomes are translating proteins that function in the, in the liquid part of the cytoplasm, also known as the cytosol. For example, uh, digestive enzymes like sucrase and, um, and amylase and things like that. Bound ribosomes, on the other hand, are attached to the ER, or the endoplasmic reticulum, or maybe to the nuclear membrane, and their job is to translate proteins um, that are destined to be inserted into membranes. For example, channel proteins, or those proteins that are going to be carrying things into or providing uh, portholes through which um, things can enter and exit cells. We're going to stop there and pick up with the next compartment in the next video cast.